Yeah, Monday. I'm Coach Skip at Wildfire CrossFit, and I have your workout for today. We got all kinds of stuff going on this week. I hope you had a great weekend and are getting ready to get after it. So here we go. We got a warm up today. 400 meters. Uh, if you don't have the distance down, go a minute out, a minute back, or just two minutes of running in place. Make sure you get everything moving. Get that heart rate up. Move those arms and legs together and really get it going. After that 400 meter run, then you're going to do three rounds of the warm up. We're going to start with those lunges. So all the way down, touch that knee, drive all the way back and go five each leg on those lunges. Then we're going to go into the plank shoulder tap. So just get in that plank position on your hands and bring those hands up to the shoulders. Just right back and forth. Same thing, five times each arm. Then we'll flip over and go right into those flutter kicks. Keep those toes pointed, small movement here, shoulders up off the ground. If you need to put your hands underneath your hips for some stabilization, that's okay too. Then we're going to go into the 10 cat cow stretch where you're pushing up with that back and then pulling that belly button to the floor. And just five each position, really hold a longer stretch here and just right up and down and then we'll finish up with five down up dogs. So get into that down dog position, get that head through the window, bicycle those heels to the ground, and then into the up dog position. Push those hips into the ground, push that chest up, and do five of each of those. So uh, three rounds of that warm up. After that, you're going to get into the strength today. We're going to go every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. And we're going to be alternating between a gymnastics exercise and a core exercise, which is also technically gymnastics. And so we're going to go five strict pull-ups or a five slow bent over rows. And I'll show you each one. So on that strict pull-ups, you're going to get on that, that bar, really make sure you engage those lats as you get that chin over the bar, and then full extension as you get all the way down to the bottom uh, as well. And really make sure you drop all the way to the bottom. If you are uh, close but not quite there in a strict pull-up, you can always do a kipping pull-up to get up and then a nice slow negative on the way down where you get up there, get that motion, and then just nice and slow to drop and then get into that next one. Same thing. You can also do the same thing with a jumping pull-up where you do that jump to get up there and then nice and slow on the way down. So you can build up that negative strength uh, and get everything ready for those strict pull-ups and get, get those pull-ups down. If you don't have a pull-up bar at home, but you've got dumbbells, a barbell, any kind of weight or object uh, that you can hold on to, then you'll get in that bent over row position. So it should feel just like that good morning, hamstrings engage. You're going to pull it up to the top and then nice and slow on the way down. Right up. Nice and slow on the way down. And really go nice and slow on those. Again, kind of like that negative pull-up where you're building up that tension and that intensity so that you can get the strength to be able to get those down. Uh, after you do your five strict pull-ups you will re or bend over rows or whatever version you have there, then you're going to rest the remainder of that minute. Then you're going to go into a 20-second L-sit hold. Now, there's a few options for this. If you've got a set of parallettes. You can do those parallettes. And how that L-sit is going to go is you're going to have about elbow to fingertip of space in between those parallettes. And get up and just hold. Point those toes. Keep that core engaged. If you're having trouble holding that for much more than five or ten seconds, you can do the same thing with a tuck hold right here. Um, and just keep those feet off the floor and keep that core engaged. If you don't have a set of parallettes, you can always use a couple of chairs or even folding chairs. And same thing, you can get into that L-sit position or that tuck position. If you're in the gym or you've got a, a rig where you've got some, some rings set up, you can also make it more challenging by doing that L-sit or that tuck hold off the rings. And again, get into that same position right in there. Uh, or in that tuck position right in there. So either one of those 
is going to be fine. Uh, again, really challenge yourself to keep that core engaged for a full 20 seconds, and then you'll rest the remainder of that minute, and we'll do each one of these five times for a total of 10 minutes. The uh, alternative, if you really aren't quite there on L-sits or have a place or an object to do them with, you can always do a hollow hold where you do a 15-second hollow hold right here. Keep those shoulders up. Keep that banana shape with the body, core engaged for 15 seconds, and then let it go for the rest of that minute. So really challenge yourself to, to fight through these positions and keep that good active position for the entire time, knowing that you're going to have the rest of that minute uh, to rest. Once we get through the 10 minutes of that alternating EMOM, we're going to get into a 20-minute AMRAP for the workout. And how this is going to go is we've got 10 unbroken wall balls. So that means you're going to start off with those wall balls, and you're going to do all 10 in a row without breaking. Breaking, And again, we're working on that stamina and building up that stamina uh, for that medicine ball. And so you're going to have that ball at that what we call that, that goblet position, or that front rack position. You're going to get your full squat in, toss it up to the target, and then reload and just do that 10 reps in a row, uh, unbroken, to make it count. Now, if you're having trouble getting all 10 reps in a row at that weight you choose, you might need to go down and wait a little bit uh, so you can get unbroken through those. Um, and that's the whole point is building up that intensity and being able to do more in a shorter period of time. If you don't have a medicine ball or you don't have a good target, to be able to toss it to, uh, and you can also do a med ball toss where you just toss it straight up in the air. You can also use a set of dumbbells and do a dumbbell thruster. Now, because you're not tossing this up in the air, I would go a little bit heavier, so I'd go maybe 20 in each hand uh, for girls and probably 30 to 35 in each hand for guys. And same thing, get that full squat, press overhead, right back down. Again, whatever weight you choose, you should be able to un go unbroken for those thrusters. After that, you're going to get into either five ring dips or five bench dips. So on that ring dip, really making sure you're getting that bicep all the way down, full lockout at the top, uh, or you can do them off the bench where you either bring those, those feet straight out where you bring those feet straight out to make it a little bit more challenging and get that 90 degree bend or keep those feet tucked up underneath to make it a little bit easier. Uh, but again, work on getting five in a row there. Then you're going to go to that double under. So you're going to do 20, uh, 10 double unders unbroken. So again, this is the challenge. Now, we're going to give you three attempts to get them unbroken. Then you're just going to finish out your 10. Because believe it or not, we do not want you to just be stuck at the double unders the entire time. Uh, but go for it. Challenge yourself. If you are doing singles, you're going to do three to one. So you're going to do 30 singles. But again, we're going to go unbroken on those singles. And same thing, you'll get three attempts to go unbroken. And then we'll you know, just finish them off. And so on that double under, two spins of the rope to one jump. Singles. Just one jump to one spin. Last one is going to be either handstand push-ups or pike push-ups. Um, same thing as everything. Challenge yourself to go unbroken on these five reps. On both the ring dips and the handstand push-ups, though, it is not a requirement that you go unbroken. So on that handstand push-up, uh, find a wall and get that big kick and full lockout at the top every time. Uh, if you don't have a place to do that, or that's not quite there for you yet, you can also do that pike push-up, push that butt up in the air, all the way down, touch that head, and then drive away. So 20 minutes, as many rounds as possible, 10 unbroken wall balls, or 10 unbroken thrusters, 5 ring dips or bench dips, 10 unbroken double unders, or 30 unbroken singles. Remember, three attempts for those double unders or the singles, and then just fill them out. And then five handstand push-ups or five pike push-ups. So 
Now go hard, go fast, have fun with this one, challenge yourself, make it tough, keep that intensity the whole time, and uh, have a great Monday, and we will see you soon.